Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk. Hello, my name is Clive from Clive'sArt.co.uk. Thank you very much for taking up that invitation and joining me in the studio. I hope you're having a good day, because I certainly am, yes. So I'm washing away the toils of everyday's life here in Wales. That is lovely, and before we start, you can see that I've taken the liberty of using um, a 20 by 20 centimetre canvas. I've put a, a, a grey coat of um, gesso on there. But the simple reason is I'm overpainting another painting. But that's a ground that I tend to use if I'm overpainting. So if you see me using a grey canvas, that's because I've already pre-painted on that. And I tend to reuse my canvases. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as we progress. But let's have a look at the colours we're going to be using today. As you can see, I've got a cadmium red, a cadmium yellow. I've got some phyllo blue, some um, titanium white, Mars black, a little bit of dioxazine purple. If you haven't got dioxazine purple, don't worry. I'll show you how to mix that. The other thing I'm using today is some a glazing medium. And this me this medium you can get from Windsor & Newton. Um, that's the, the brand I tend to use, but there's other companies out there that does this type of glaze. Yes, it's additive, basically. You can use it for glazing, but as you can see, you can also mix it into your paint. As I was asked, there we are, I put, I put a little bit in those, my little pots. I was asked, Clive, I'm having trouble varnishing my paintings, but I, and I don't really like using varnish. I want to make my paint um, glossy and shiny. Well, of course you can. By adding a little bit of glazing medium to your paint, like I've done there, with the red and the yellow, and I'm just now doing the blue, you can make it really, really shiny depending on how much you put in there and um i don't do that very often because i'd like to varnish my paintings if i'm doing um commissions but yes you can do it this way quite nicely and you can use it as um a, just a, a, a clear glaze as well if you just want to just glaze over your painting but when we varnish our paintings it's important that we remember that we've got to wait for the paint to dry and cure and that can take up to two weeks, otherwise it may fog your varnish. Okay, enough of all that was my bin. There it is. And um, brushes. Well, I've got a couple of short flats. I've got a couple of details. Um, um, and, and that's it, really. One little filbert. I've got a blending brush by there. Um, nothing major. Um, they're all going to be in the description. I've got a little bit of my medium mix. A flow improver there. Or you can just use plain old top water. It doesn't really matter. It's entirely up to you. And um, let's start this painting. Now, I've taken the liberty of um, going around after my pre-sketch, and I've just lined it out a little bit of with ivory black, because I don't want to lose my line work, and I've done that for speed of uh, use. So I'm just getting a little bit of moisture onto my brush, and I'm picking up a little bit of yellow. I'm going to mix my yellow by there like that, because I want a nicer bright spot on my painting. And I'm just going to go in there like that. You can see I can still see the ladies behind. I'm just adding a touch of white to that because I want to sparkle that yellow up a bit there you go if you lose your line work you can always get a little bit of tissue and just remove a little bit of paint like that i'm trying to show you a couple of different ways of doing these things Okay, um, <clears throat> to that I'm just going to add a touch of red. So I'm going to have a very light orange feel. A detail brush. A little bit of moisture there. Picking up some my Mars black. As you know, I like Mars black. I'm going to put a little bit of glazing medium to that. And I'm just going to 
re-outline my drawing. I've taken the liberty of pre-sketching this, so I wanted to just wanted to make, wanted to make it look a bit more like a a line drawing rather than a figurative drawing. If that makes any sense, I don't know if that does or not. I don't know. My brain doesn't work like normal people. <laughs> it certainly does not. But we get there in the end. Yes, we do. We get there in the end. Well, I hope we do sometimes. So I'm just going to quickly line out this because I don't want to lose that effect. And I've done something very similar with some African dancers and things. And um, I urge you to click the icons which is in the top right hand corner there and that's going to take you into some more videos and more lessons that I've done and there's over 400 lessons here for you and all different manner of subjects and whatnots so please 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 um, go to um, www.youtube.com forward slash c forward slash Clive 5 art there you will see my main channel and my playlists and all the videos that I've made are going to be in there then there you go so that's okay what I want to do now is just get the hair dryer on up very quickly and uh, just to dry that off And the question I'm ha asked mainly at this point is how far away should you have the air dryer? Well, I normally say it's about 8 to 12 inches, but you can see I go a lot closer than that sometimes just to speed it up. And I'm not too worried about the archival properties of the paint because a lot of these just get thrown in a bin. So, But if you're doing it yourself, I'd say about 8 to 12 inches away and hair dryer it until it's dry, until you're sufficiently dry that you think you can carry on. There's no actual time limit on that. So um, that's another question I get asked. How long do you use the air dryer for? Until it's dry. <laughs> so now I've done that, I'm just going to pick up my little um, filbert brush. i got a bit of this yellow. I'm going to add a bit of my titanium white to it. You can see I'm not using a lot of paints today. And um, I'm going to put scrape those paints up and put them in a little pot in a minute so I can keep them for another lesson. And um, I just want to increase the brightness there. Now this is a lot easier if you put the figures in after you've done the background. But I do it this way because people like using tracing. So what, what I would recommend you did really is do your background so you can start off with a bit of yellow go around in a sequence and and then you put your your tracing on and then you can work like that but i do it this way for lessons just it's just it's just good for me and i and i just gives me more chance to talk to you rather than i could paint this in 10 minutes 15 minutes as a as, as, as a lesson if i wanted to but i i'd like to show different ways and different things and anyway does that doesn't matter does it really all we're trying to do here is just show you a way of building up this type of thing there we are let's get some orange now I'm just going to rub a little bit of yellow into that color there just increase the orange bleeding that in Uh, yellow. A little bit of red. 
you'll find that the paint is a little bit stickier than it normally is if you're just using the plain acrylics and that's because we've got the glazing medium um, in the paint so you will find it's a little bit more resistant and it'll dry just a little bit quicker so be very careful when you're using this method so just mixing up a little bit of orange there you go I want this to be subtle but got a little bit of character to it. I'm just changing my brush and getting going back into a short flat and just gonna brush that through like that. And like I said, don't forget because we are using a little bit of dark seam purple, a little bit of red, don't forget because we're using our glazing medium it is gonna be a little bit more sticky. I'm going to put a glaze on this before we do the the body and that of the ladies. The ladies' skin is going to be whatever our background is. Actually, I just want them to look as if I've just drawn them on there. So there's not going to be detail in them as such, but I'm not using much um, moisture. I'm using more glazing medium than moisture. Get that purpley colour. A bit more glazing medium. We're glazing this in like that. Now this is going to take longer to dry with a hairdryer. That's a bit of a contradiction in terms of what I just said, but just test tens. It's just the nature of the way it is, this glazing medium. Works really well with um, semi-transparent paints, not so much opaque paints. Obviously, if you think about it. You get a nice, nice colour to this I'm just going to wash in my brush where's my pen there it is making sure I'm getting all that red out of my brush going back into a little bit of yellow and a bit of that glazing medium just a touch just a touch and I'm just trying to increase this yellow there I don't know if you can see that on there but Maybe you can. I had a little bit of paint lift there. That was that dark spot, and I've actually managed to lift a bit of paint, which which you will do if you're trying to paint quickly like this, and especially with glazing medium. Glazing medium doesn't like to be overworked. But there we go. We'll get around that now. We'll just add a little bit of white to my yellow, and we'll make it a lighter spot, more of a white spot then. And that way we can recover that if we wanted to. There we are. Yeah, it looks okay. And I'm going to put the hairdryer on that. I'm going to make sure that's really dry. And I'll come back like that. There we go. I hope that's dry enough. We'll soon find out when we start putting paint on it if the paint comes off it. But for now, that will do its job. So let's make sure I've got a couple of nice clean brushes here. I'm going to go into some with Filo Blue. Just looking at my quick sketch I did with some colouring pencils sometimes I just use colouring pencils and do a sketch like that and um, it's just chucking a bit of blue paint there you go Don't forget this has got the glazing medium in it as well. Don't 
Uh, bring a bit, a bit of white to that now. Let's put some like this is a nice lacy type of dress, I would imagine. So. I'm just going to drop that brush into the water. I'm going to pick up a detailed brush. I wasn't planning on using one of these, but this is a number four, but it doesn't matter. That's okay, we can work with it. And then just put some colour into this dress here. Yeah. Get a bit of glazing medium into it because we want that luster, don't we? We certainly do. A bit, bit, bit more colour into that. I just want it more of a. That's a bit nice. That's nice. I want a bit of, bit of a bow, so we want a bit, a bit of a lighter colour now. Bit of a bow there, see. Oh, let's just put a bit of light to colour just on the tips of these frilly things, whatever they are, because it's just catching the light. There you go. And we're going to give her a nice white belt I think. There you go. There's my bin. There it is. I'm just going to pick up a bit of colour, a bit of yellow, a bit of white, a bit of colour. And I want to just pick up a bit of colour into the skin. Let's get a bit of orange I think now. Let's get a bit of orange now into that. A bit of black just on the tip of my brush. Put a bit of a bit of a hair thing going on there like that. So she's obviously well, she is now. She's. Um, let's just see if we can bring her face forward a touch. There we go. Let's get a bit of black around that edge. There we go. I'll do. I'm happy with that. That's good enough. Let's get a bit of orange. Just um, with a bit of shading down that arm there, like that. Now we want to do the same type of thing. With this young lady and what I'm thinking of is a bit of a purple so let's get a bit of purple there let's get some of this glazing medium into it just a small touch of white just to purple it up because the dioxazine purple is quite dark and she's got the same type of thing going on but more coming out like that are we looking on camera it looks pretty good quite dark this one but hey it's important to play with color we don't know what works and what doesn't work and when you're doing things like this especially when I'm making lessons it's nice to change and play with color I'm adding a little bit more white now and again I'm just gonna do exactly what I did there I'm just gonna give us some frills coming around 
harking him a little bit, look as if like she's maybe sitting down on a chair or something. I don't know. But it's one of these lacy, furry type of fluffy things. I don't know. I don't wear dresses myself. But I would imagine this is what they look like. So there you go. And let's just a bit more white to that one. A bit more white. I want to really lighten this side up now just to give it a little bit of I don't know this could be like a feather type of dress couldn't it have feathers on it whatever it could be a feather dress there we are it's a feather dress it is now anyway <laughs> so okay just practice your brush strokes that's what this is about is practicing your brush strokes let's get a bit of dark dark dioxazine and then there's no colour on this it's just lighten up let's just put a couple of more little layers in there like that yeah maybe I'll light the colour again now and just flow it in just throw it in it, 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 your eye will make up shapes quite nicely I think and um, back into the detail brush now back into this dioxazine purple and let's put a bodice in there you go now we got um a strictly come dancing and i know that goes on in the states as well so and that's going to be hitting our screens quite shortly um on htv certainly is so this could be a strictly come dancing girl two girls gonna strictly come dancing girls there we are been practicing their moves for the tv show and let's get a little bit of yellow uh into the face yeah there's no no features i don't know if you noticed i've got no features at all just blocks of color Just blocks of colour. She's got her hand on her shoulder. Look, there we go. Just blocks of colour. Have fun. Experiment with this. I need to go a bit redder than that. Just have fun. There's no right or wrong way to paint. You paint the way you want to paint and you should be able to create your own works of art because don't try copying others too much try and use what they teach like myself and go and try and create something from that even if you put several lessons together that's what I suggest you do is put several lessons together and see if you can come up with your own painting based on those paintings there you go and the other thing is don't talk too much when you paint them because you can make mistakes <laughs> like I just did but it doesn't matter we'll get a recover of that there you go just put a little bit of color in there like Bit of yellow, yellow, and he's making a mess of it. No, he's not. Doesn't matter what I do, because I don't mind. All I'm doing is showing you a method. And as long as I can show you a method, and we can get away with it. There's a couple of flamenco dancers. There we are. I've just realised what they are. <laughs> Some flamenco dancers. Certainly is. There you go. Now you can dry that off. And you can put a glaze over that then of just pure glazing medium. So when it's nice and dry, you get a brush. There you go. I'll just show you. Get a brush. Get some nice clean glazing medium. 
and then you can just go over that with a glazing medium there you go I'll just do the corner I'll just do the corner just go over that with a nice clean brush this is not varnish just glazing medium and you'll have a nice luster to that painting there you go it's as simple as that it certainly is right I'm gonna wash my brush and all remains me to do is just sign that in the bottom corner with my initials there you go you can sign any corner you want so thank you very much for joining me in the studio my name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk have a good day good week a good month a good year because I don't know exactly when you're going to be watching this as as I said time is relative on YouTube have a go you never know the tracing is on the website nice Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit clive5art.co.uk